Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve the memory management error you are coming across on your Windows computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, you guys. So we're going to jump right into it and we're going to start by opening up the start menu. Just left click on the start button one time. Left click on the power icon, so the little power button and then hold down the shift key on your keyboard while left clicking on the restart button right here. Alright, so at this point you choose an option, select Troubleshoot, Reset Your PC, or see Advanced Options. Select Advanced Options once more, and now you want to select Startup Settings, Change Windows Startup Behavior, and then select Restart. All right, so now you want to tap the function 5 key on your keyboard. So up at the top of your keyboard, there should be an F5 key. Just tap it one time to enable safe mode with networking. Might be different in your case, but on my system, that's what the option said. So I'm going to select safe mode with networking. All right, so now that you're in safe mode, you want to go open up the start menu. Just go ahead and left click on the start button one time. Into the start menu search, you want to type in Windows Memory. And one of the best matches should come back with Windows Memory Diagnostic. Go ahead and left click on that. Check your computer for memory problems. Memory problems can cause your computer to lose information or stop working. So let's restart now and check for problems, which is recommended. So go left click on that.
Okay, now that you've booted back into Windows, hopefully your issue should be resolved. And you can always check your physical RAM sticks as well, so if you want to swap out your memory sticks with another compatible one that fits your motherboard, you're welcome to go check that out. I mean, obviously you can't swap in DDR4 for DDR3 RAM, but, you know, it's just an idea to put out there, so you can actually have a physical issue with your memory, so it's definitely a possibility you want to consider. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.